क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज द सर्फेस एनर्जी ऑफ अ लिक्विड ड्रॉप इज यू इट इज स्प्रेड इन टू वन थ्री थ्री वन आइडेंटिकल ड्रॉपलेट्स सर्फेस एनर्जी ऑफ अ स्मॉल ड्रॉप विल बी डे स्टूडेंट्स इफ द इनिशियल रेडियस इज आर एंड द फाइनल रेडियस इज स्मॉल आर वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट स्मॉल आर वुड बी इक्वल टू आर डिवाइडेड बाय एन टू द पार वन बाय थ्री वे एन इज द नंबर ऑफ ड्रॉपलेट्स इन विच बिगर ड्रॉप इज स्प्रेड इन टू so we can write down that small r would be capital r divided by 1 3 3 1 to the power 1 by 3 and this would be equal to r by 11 dear students the final surface energy can be written as to be equal to initial surface energy u multiplied by small r by capital r to the power 2 therefore dear students the final energy would be u by 121 and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 4 now let us proceed to the question number 7 question 7 says the height of mercury column in a barometer tube is 75 cm at sea level and 60 cm at the top of a hill if density of mercury is 10 to the power 4 times the density of air then height of the hill will be assume density of air to be uniform dear students as we move upwards then the atmospheric pressure decreases we can write down that if the height of the hill is h then rho of air into g into height of the hill would be equal to rho of mercury that is hg into g into 75 minus 60 and because it is in centimeter we have to multiply it by 10 raised to power minus 2 the students on substituting the given values that the density of mercury is 10 to the power 4 times the density of air and substituting in this given expression we can find out the value of h to be equal to 1500 meters that will be equal to 1.5 kilometers and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 1 now let us proceed to the question number 8 the question number 8 says consider a u tube with liquids filled inside as shown in figure If the system is at rest, then the value of H will be approximately. The rho of oil is given to be equal to 0.8 gram per cc. The density of mercury is 13.6 gram per cc, and the density of glycerol is given to be 1.3 gram per cc, that is centimeter cube. Dear students, let us mark this point as A, and at the same level, let us mark this point as B. Now, dear students, The pressure at A and B must be equal because they are at the same horizontal level in the same liquid in a hydrostatic condition. So we can write down that since pressure at A is equal to pressure at B, therefore P naught plus rho of oil into G into twenty. Into 10 to the power minus 2 will be equal to P naught plus rho of glycerol into G into H into 10 to the power minus 2. We would be calculating H in centimeters plus rho of mercury that is Hg into G into 20. Minus H into 10 to the power minus 2. Dear students, on substituting the given values, we can find out the value of H, which will be equal to 20.81 centimeters. And hence, therefore, option number two for this question is the correct answer. Now let us solve the question number nine. Question number nine says a block of wood floats in water with two third of its volume submerged. If the same block floats in oil with one third of its volume submerged, then the density of oil will be. Dear students, using the law of flotation, we can write down from the first data since two third of the volume of the block is submerged in the water, the density of block. Let us write down the density of block as rho b will be equal to two by third the density of water. and since in the second case one third of the block is submerged we can write down that the density of block would be equal to one third the density of the oil 
on dividing these two equations dear students we can find out that the density of oil would be equal to 2 times the density of water and this would be equal to 2000 kg per meter cube and hence option number 4 is the correct answer. Now let us discuss the question number 10. Question number 10 says 64 spherical raindrops of equal size are falling vertically through air with a terminal speed of 2.5 meter per second. If these drops coalesce to form a single spherical drop, then the terminal velocity of the big drop is. Dear students, the terminal velocity is proportional to the square of the radius of the drop. Therefore, dear students, we can write down that the initial to the final terminal speed have the ratio equal to the ratio of the squares of the initial and the final radii. And this would be equal to r square divided by 4 r square. Therefore, dear students, v2 would be equal to v1 into 16 that will be equal to 2.5 into 16 and this will be equal to 40 meter per second and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 11. 